Hello, this is... Uh, I'm uh, Gibran Amadar and today I am going to teach somehow the basics. These, this is only for the beginners, not for the experts or medium level who use the uh, SketchUp. This is SketchUp Pro 2020 as you can see over here, okay. So here I am going to tell you, uh, I'm going to somehow teach you, guide you in very basic, okay. Not, it is not very hard. First of all, you will hear that, you will see that. Uh, just uh, these are the functions too okay these are the tools through you can work okay and these are also tools if if you start if you start all these things so okay if you will now i'm i'm just going to do make all this empty as you can see that it may be just a uh, start of this okay and this one is also and this one if you will install first time okay first time so this will be the layout uh, after that you will have to click over here okay extension or like that where assets or tools are like this these are things you will have to start default tray high tray rename tray and like that so all what you have to do tools raise our shell and like this these are the tools you can also select from here but i will suggest you that default very height uh, outline and like this first of all i have to see check that where are gone show hidden geometry show hidden section plates toolbars and i think this one advanced camera okay you will have to go in the view toolbar locations okay this one this one shadow okay everything is now being active you can also do active warehouse tag style standard the standard is very important okay section hmm sections not if not we will large this one this one it's a large tool you will have to select any of the tool and just make it make double click and it will be set over here after that you just go here okay and after that click over here make them perfect selection so you can work after that very from very the basic 
you can choose you can choose as you want okay very light this is very light no need for this and this one vire utility vire is the render okay and uh, warehouse warehouse is also very great and secret of modeling and rendering make sure you can download and many people do many things so you can download many already modeled and the design model and many things dynamic component but no not important yeah drawing tool is very important drawing tool okay dynamic component what is this i don't know i have to see add it yes add it add it and this one is yes like this i think these are i have over here i think so so i think i need to i think this is the combination of standard tool so i am adding that now after that i will close it this is the lecture first first lecture now for starting as you know you can just hold the mouse over here you will see that this is new open save as you can see this is already uh, you have learned in the ms office or ms word photoshop same like that new open save save as and like that this is cut this is copy this is paste this is it is i mean to say delete the and re redo for printing for model info this is for camera this one is for camera when the model is ready okay and looks through the camera created by cam create camera and this one something we will have to learn okay so add location add location i think so after for example this one add location please you know for which okay for example for example for this one for this one for this one rectangle and i start with it okay make it over here and for example i am adding this location i think this is opening a uh, okay this is again and again this option is again and again trying to open a location for uh, from the internet i don't know what is this okay and this one and this one this one i told but i will again tell that this 
is the extreme one this is showing the model i think something or like back edge back edge this is showing something back edge or something like that this is this will only show the show the uh, lines only show the lines this will show the uh, <coughs> i think yes this is showing the 3d moon 3d model and this one will show the colored share uh, color you know shaded yeah with colored or textured with shaded whatever and this will shade it shade with the texture shade with textures for example if some thing i model and if i apply the texture and if i apply a shade so this will be this should be selected um this one is mochrome something like that i don't know what is the difference but i will have to check basically after three to four years i am using sketchup so that is the reason maybe it will be not as much easy for me but i'm learning step by step rounded rectangle so that's it what is this this one this one this one okay this one And you can see this tool is doing this type of work instruction. If you will select this one instruction, so we can see that this is and these are pointing us three three angles this is selecting and after that over here this one is like this I will have to uncheck this one. This one is for this. This one is for this. This one is for this. As you can see, this can be a company look. Have you ever seen a company? Office. Office. <laughs> you can see the uh, office and this type of. Um, you can see uh, where uh, oils are stored so you can check uh, you can say that uh, a huge uh, huge model of a small model of a of office or a plant something like that this something I'm going this one with this office okay and um, this here and this and this <clears throat> okay and Okay. 
you can see just you have to watch the carefully all these steps because this one is very important to understand for example from here the boss is watching so <laughs> he will watch from here his office it's the boss office this is the oil towers uh you what should i say to these plant plants i don't know what is the name um, okay and that is the office of labors labor office over here and labors goes to the uh, on the roof over here and they work and they go inside for checking the oil or something like that so this is the first of our video in english <laughs> you know in english i mostly do not make any video but i tried today somehow and uh, so i hope that today this was a good lesson and i hope that you have understood whatever i taught but next day we will learn something good and something better so we are stopping today and next day we will start with a new lesson have a good time bye